You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's American Idol After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424 424- 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's American Idol After Show. Hey there, Idol Nation. What is up? Now, it is the end of the road for Jermaine Jones, a.k.a. Joel Jones, a.k.a. Kareem Watkins, okay, a.k.a. You Get the Drift. Once again, it's another after show for AfterBuzz TV. And as always, we know that Bing is for doing and what we are doing is another after show for AfterBuzz TV. This is American Idol Season 11, Episode 19. I'm JC Rubio. Joined, as always, by my partner in crime, my main man, the muscle. That's right, Mr. Mark. That's right. Good evening. That's funny you said muscle. That's right. Um, I was just, uh, you know, semi You flex it. You flex it. <laughs> and today, we actually were joined. We have a guy in standards and practices that makes sure we stay in line. Mr. Actually, he's a comedian, Mr. Tony Klein. What's Tony up, Tony? Klein. Hey, folks. There we go. <laughs> Understated, but his messages are clear and concise. He'll That's be watching us all night. And, of course, running the back tonight. Not only is she a producer, but she's also a part-time model, Miss Jerrica. What's up, Jerrica? How you doing? Howdy. All right. She's running in all, guys, so she makes us look good. But not only that, guys, tell us what you think. Let us, let us know how you feel. Make sure you like us on iTunes, comment, add us, subscribe us. Just let us know and tell a friend, of course. And if you want to call us during the show... Call us at 424-256-1729. Woo, man. Wow. You got that? <laughs> I the I'm, trying to, get a, I'm trying to get a word in, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's, he's standards and practices. But today we have a lot to talk about. So you know, much. we'll get to the Jermaine stuff a little bit later. But what do you think so far? Let's talk about last week. You know, what do you think, you know, I, on the elimination? Last week was a little rough for me. I thought, um, you know, it was just a hard week for everybody. But the economy, yeah. The, sure. <laughs> the worst thing was that you were right. You were right, and it was. But the the funny thing was, it was close because I felt like <laughs> uh, least Testone wasn't gonna make it through, and you thought my boy Jeremy wasn't gonna make it through. I'm telling you, I hate to say this because I don't think he's necessarily a likable character in that character, but I mean, um, a likable personality on Idol, and that's, it's just because he tells it like it is, and that's uh, Jimmy Iovine. Mm -hmm. Is it Iovine or Iovine? I always butcher his name. I think it's Iovine. Okay, yeah. He says what I'm feeling, I swear, and I feel like such a jerk when I'm saying stuff, but <laughs> he's spot on. I'm telling you, he doesn't pull he any punches. He confirms it for you. You know, because, you know, Shannon, you were right, Shannon made it, you know, flying colors and whatnot, but uh, Jeremy had to go. I, I'm yeah. sorry. It's such a tough season. I mean, the competition is tough this this season, which I actually think overall last week they were better than this week. And we just do there's, we? Yeah, there's there's. I'm wrong. Yeah, you're definitely <laughs> you're definitely wrong with that. Standards one. and practices. <laughs> what do you think? I didn't see last week, but this tonight was uh, hit or miss, and the end was good. It was oh, like a grand. It was like fireworks, grand finale. You know all right. Mean? Well, it definitely then was. let's get started. Let's talk about the guys. Let's go in with. Yeah. Well, tonight we we did the songs from when you were born. And um, I don't know about you, but the song that was number one when I was born, and it's funny that I know this, is We Built This City on Rock and Roll. Starship. Yeah, nice. so um, you can look, there's a website you can look that up, but that just stuck in my mind. That was number one when I was born. Oh. And um, I mean, we did build the city on rock and roll, so that's correct. Um, um, Bayou <laughs> Funk and Roll. Yeah, no, I think I would have been like, I have the tiger. I think it's like... <laughs> Uh, you're you're living the, life. the Rock City too, which is kind of funny. So yeah. uh, for, you know what I'm saying? You there. Yeah, right. let us know. Tweet us what year you were born, what song that you know this you would have sang on tonight's episode. But oh, yeah. Philip Phillips, he was uh, 1990. Yeah, Whoa. strong start. He just had surgery. That is crazy. So he was he went during you know practice and rehearsal. He performed for them. Mm -hmm. and then had to go get surgery on Thursday and come back and, and sing. For kidney stones. And let me tell you, personal experience, kidney stones, worse than you could ever have in your life. <sighs> they say it's understand. like giving birth, like honestly. So it, kudos, hats off to him. 
Ugh, I, he was good, but I, I... You're not gonna get, cut him some slack? Cut him some slack. It's The show must go on. <laughs> yeah, well, it did. I thought, okay, here's the first thing. Philip Phillips feels awkward without a guitar, and it shows. Okay. However, today, I thought the only way, the only reason he felt awkward, which you know, you could you could tell that he wasn't as comfortable as always, but I thought he he sold it. I thought it was a strong performance. Um, what uh, what? Oh, the Black Crow's uh, hard to handle. Yeah. Right thought, up his alley. Yeah. His Bayou Funk. I think his his range is getting bigger every week. Okay. And stronger. And um, yeah, he during Hollywood weeks. It was rough without him without the guitar. Mm -hmm. like, doing all these songs that he didn't know. I thought today was obviously way better than any of his Hollywood stuff without a guitar. So you see growth. Oh, absolutely. Excellent. Okay. Which, all right, all right. You know, I just read it, I'm just seeing it as results. Like if I didn't know he had surgery, I, mm -hmm. I just for me his energy was low, and I understand he gets a pass this week. He's still my one of my favorites since day mm -hmm. one. He was my favorite in the beginning. So. <laughs> He's, yeah. he'll, I think he'll, you know, he'll be yeah. fine. The, for the, a, the crowd responded from the very beginning, too. They were on their feet and, and having right. fun. So I thought it was cool. He had, like, the big band behind him. So Yeah, he got the sympathy card a lot, though, with the crowd. Yeah, the I think so, too. Surgery. I, I so what did you feel? That's Tony. what I think. I just, like, they, they came in, like, and they showed the clip before, and they're like, surgery, and they kind of, like, everyone's kind of bummed. They're like, oh, man, that sucks for him. Then he comes out, and everyone's like, oh, right off the bat, like, just clapping. Yeah. It's like he's got that sympathy card. I think I would have I I did good, a little bit. good, but I mean. That's what I wanted. Did you like his music? Yeah, I mean, as far as the later performances and stuff his was kind of like overshadowed by the, the later stuff mm -hmm. that's what happens i mean i think you should have like the gr either the best or the second best performer start so that it carries you because you end yeah, up forgetting you, after you see 10 it. 12 people perform and they can kind of get lost in the shuffle so yeah. i think i think if i was philip phillips i would have melted a little more i think i would have <laughs> fell over and kind of got up kind of dizzy <laughs> And then and then just draw them in. They'll Some never James, forget James that. James Brown stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't do that. Wow. Got to put a cape on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was he was good. He, yeah. you know, we think he'll be fine, but definitely. definitely. All right. I, I'm, I'm I usually like to talk, but I, I'm I'm pausing for dramatic effect because next guy is one of our favorites, but he June. Yeah. Ah, uh, we loved. He's a favorite, really. Well, well from the beginning. If, if it was personality idol. Dude's got it in spades because usually yeah. he's like the funny guy. He's the cut up and he's lovable. Everyone loves the guy. But, yeah. and when he did his audition, his first audition, he had, did Michael Bolton. Um, when a man loves, no. Uh, how, how how do I live without? How can I live without? How you? can I live without? And you know, and, and he's got he's got a little bit of an accent, so you think you know you know, yeah. know what to expect. But he blew the judges away. Yeah. And and he's been living off that song. You know, he's had yeah. good and bad performances throughout. He's but. definitely not well rounded and. Unfortunately, you know, he's he's not doing a great performance every week. It's not terrible, but he's definitely like I said last week. He's he's playing his cards right because he's funny. You want to see what he's what he's going to talk about. He's going to hit on uh, um, Fergie and try yeah. to get her number from Will I Am, and that's just that's it just endears smart. It to the crowd. Yeah, so you know? like you expect to see him. It's like he, he's going to be on the show. I think for for a little bit longer, you but. His performances, I think, eventually, once they cut out all the the people that don't make it very far, he's gonna be like, all right, I think it's Hey June's turn to go. But I don't know. It, it was definitely a little bit breathy, a lot of bit breathy. Would you download a song of his? Is it is he music you Not would listen this one. to? No. Okay. Is it something that right you now. go out and down? Go to I, I know. I was gonna say that. As far as and, like the downloading thing, I mean, the performance has been bad, but just his like the breathiness and his accent kind of peeking through. They they corrected on you know I mean, the, with a chance thing that cutting it off yeah. as a chan like uh, that comes through just on an audio source alone if you're watching watching the performance it's one thing but listening to it directly you're going to only hear his accent you know, th yeah. you thank know. you for mentioning that I, I felt I didn't know if I wanted to say that I, I think for the first time I, I, I mean accents in America that's what America is built on is just the diversity and whatnot mm -hmm. but the, I, the accent actually I did pick up the accent more than ever tonight yeah, and I definitely. don't know if it was the breathiness or what the beginning He, I did like the beginning he sounded like Brian McKnight we've said that before about yeah, him he's, Sure. He has these inflections yeah, right in the beginning, but then he gets lost. And I, I did. I mean, I think the chorus. I kind of. I've, I heard a little Michael Bolton in the chorus, though. Did you? Really? So it kind of brought it back for me. And and you know, I don't think it was terrible. Like Randy hated it. I didn't hate it. Right. 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 But um, 
I don't know. Okay, now is he's there... cute as a baby. <laughs> Got to see a lot of that. Mom was crying, touching story. I mean, he's just so darn likable, and that's what helps these. Like the more there's the great singers, like our Jessicas, our Joshuas, those type. But even and even Josh was in trouble last week. He was right. in the bottom three. So you never Thanks, know. Yeah. So, but I mean, personality does take you far on this show. So for sure, yeah. Now, is there anything like you? You're a singer. You know, you, you've been doing it for years. As Randy would say, you blow it out. <laughs> what would you tell he, he June? What is what's something he could do to tighten up his performance? No, just I think just to be more relevant. Like, um, like we'll talk about Colton in a little bit. Like he's such a relevant artist, and that's what we want to see in, in this, especially since it has such a young fan base. I mean, American Idol goes from young to old, right? But we just want to see something that's going to sell right now. And you know, Kelly Clarkson's still selling. Uh, Carrie Underwood's still relevant. Daughtry stuff like that. So it's it's just I don't know. It, He's got his work cut out for him. I mean, well, this was, of course, the years that, you know, the song, song singing songs of the year you were born with. But mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, like a technique or is there something that he can work on? Like, I just maybe like a strong, I mean, be stronger with it. Like especially, yeah, especially with, with tonight being so breathy and, 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 you know, just get that full voice out there. Because he obviously has a great voice and we've heard it. His tone. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and it's so unexpected. But now that we know what he's capable of and that he's not living up to that every week, I think just to get that full voice, and that's kind of what I, I've had a problem with that too, being breathy and kind of whisper singing, you know, John Mayer, but you just kind of, you, you got to just push through and let them hear your, your actual voice rather than the quiet stuff and the ah. <laughs> Real breathy. And yeah. Maybe he needs to lay down like Shannon. Yeah, Remember they were yeah. telling Shannon to lay down. I've never heard of it. <laughs> you know, and usually what I like about Idol is they'll give you a good one and a not so good one, but for me personally, the next one, I didn't like, uh, DeAndre. Yeah. DeAndre didn't sell it for me this week. It was rough for him. And we, I liked him last week. I, I, I don't. I, were you on the fence with him last week doing the yeah, reggae stuff? I, I'm, well, yeah. I mean, it was a fun performance. I didn't think as far as like a singing competition, which it is and it isn't. But tonight, it was just like, and, and he had his workout for him also because he had a song picked out, and then they switched it on him, mm -hmm. which. I don't know. We saw that might not have been the best thing today. Well, yeah. do you listen to Jimmy Iovine? And I mean, Will I am made a, I made a bunch of words have, up. You can't help but feel like pressured by being a contestant and having oh, them yeah. be the mentors and then not take their advice. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, they're gonna you, it's, you know so and then having all the judges say, "Why'd you do that? Why'd you pick <laughs> that song?" It's like, well, because the mentors told me to. I can see that being kind of like a conflict. And That's you right. notice that the judges were calling them out on that yeah. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing was, well. I think he would have. I, I, he was safer with "Endless Love" than the first song. He was gonna supposed to sing uh, "Can You Feel the Can Love" feel to, yeah. by Elton John. Yeah. Tonight his falsetto helped him, which it always does. But he started off the song and it was like, okay, this is iffy, this is iffy, this is iffy. And then about halfway through, he did one of those notes that he does, and mm -hmm. then the crowd responded very well, and he even smiled a little bit, like, oh, there he is. And then he disappeared for a while, and then he came back with it at the end. So, so is it a trick? I mean, you know, well, that he that, uh, that's his go-to move. Okay, I'm losing the crowd, so let me let me let me go in my bag of tricks and throw this right. at you. Def for this song, definitely because. We got to see some of his full voice last last week, mm -hmm. and and then the week before, week four, and we yeah. yeah we can we can you know he definitely can sing those that big stuff in that with that chest voice, but today is it, it definitely saved him a little bit. So he's definitely memorable, and like he does some things that nobody can do. I think he just has to find a song, or even take a song and twist it and turn it to make it a song that you know and, and be able to use all of his 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 go to stuff for the majority of the song. Rather than singing like he like he usually doesn't sing, and then just oh yeah, remember this? I remember I can sing, and then come you know what I mean? You could see it in his face. I I just thought he was lost. He could he yeah. was struggling. He was struggling, and I'm not doubting his talent at all. Any of these people that are left, for the most part, I think they're they're top notch singers. But just he 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 just struggled. He had a bad week, but we're down to. 11 12 contestants mm -hmm. it could cost him i think i i think he might be in trouble i really yeah. do so sorry you know like hopefully hopefully i'm wrong you know cuz i i know there'll be other weeks where he'll excel yeah. but definitely i hope i hope he finds it you know he's got something for sure now, he's very unique speaking of finding it ah ah mr colton dixon yes you a, a big you're a big fan of colton he's loved colton since like day one for and sure colton's a rock star yeah he is and he's he's i feel is maybe top two most relevant artists today if you know you could take him out of the show and just put him on the radio mm -hmm. um he's not always 
the best singer of the competition. Obviously, we have these huge singers, but he's he's a great performer and he's getting more comfortable be, without having the piano right in front of him, mm -hmm. which is he's taking steps in the right direction. Um, but his performance today, you know how they, you know, he even got the. Um, the advice from Daughtry, who he, he met this past week and who's kind of, you know, already lived everything that Colton's about to live and had success with it. So he told him, sing songs that people know. Yes. And tonight he didn't. And he said he's going to start doing that next week. But I, I think he did the right thing about if, if you do sing a song that no one knows, let them know that nobody's going to know it because it kind of, you know, crosses it out like oh okay we don't know this we don't know this song but he told us that so it's like one of his original songs kinda. it's smart I, that, that that was kind of a smart play in his favor that you yeah. know it's it was like people that n have never heard the song well that's the song that's his yeah, it's yeah. not yeah. white white lion it's like a song that you know that song works it obviously it was a hit he heard it as a kid it was yeah a, it was obviously the song came out the year he was born so mm -hmm. if right. he made it and then singing that song and not having like that much recollection of it he can make it his own you know what i mean for sure yeah there yeah i mean I, I, hopefully all the idols take daughtry's advice i think they pick something that people know mm -hmm. and be yourself yeah. be yourself and and this week i think people you know a lot of contestants have been mimicking the 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 main singers that sang the original songs don't do that yeah stretch put your stamp on it if i mean they're talented enough to do that and yes. that's just going to win over the judges that's going to it's fresh like let's get uh, like my girl elise testone mm-hmm Sorry, yeah. she, I I loved what she did with Mar, you know, but, but to the Marvin Gaye song. We'll get to that later. Yeah. But you know, it's all about you know, and they always say it. take it, own it, and take chances and make it your own. Now taking chances and, and risk isn't always you know it doesn't always come through, but the payoff is so rewarding when it does. What did you think of the fact that J Lo said she thought he was pretty? I mean, that yeah, doesn't I mean, help. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I guess not. Help. But you know, he's got a big fan base. You you know, you know, yeah, good looking dude with with relevant music, and he kind of you know what he reminded me of today was um, uh, Thirty Seconds to Mars. What's oh, his name? Uh, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. He he has that kind of vibe to uh, to he's, him. He's the edgy guy. He's like yeah. a cliche. But I think he's a better singer than than Leto. So now we've all admitted to our man crush to Jared Leto. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, there's the nothing president weird. Of the cult. Nothing weird. Nothing weird about us three guys watching American Idol, and listening to some endless love tonight. There was yeah. nothing wrong with that. We were talking. It's like adventures in bromance. Yeah. And listening to endless love on Idol. Yeah. No, but um, he's fine. He, he's, he's fine. He's got a big base. He's solid. Yeah. So um, you know what? Why didn't he sing in '91? Didn't Aerosmith have a song going on around that time? Well, there was a couple of contestants that had. The birth year of like uh, Aerosmith's like last relevant album, you know, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, like Get a Grip or whatever it was. Right. Yeah, I'm surprised no one just taken that. I mean, I don't know if it's too cheesy just to take that for like the little one judge being on your side. Like, you think Steven Tyler's gonna say terrible job doing my song? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's easy. That's gotta be a shoe in. But for someone like Colton, Colton's a rocker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, he. I, do you think he could handle a song by Steven uh, Tyler? Is, is love it too an big? elevator. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. Um, I, some of the stuff maybe is a little bit too big, okay. but he could definitely make it his own because he had some big notes tonight, mm -hmm. and, it, and it was good. And speaking of Steven Tyler, he was always nice to everybody. Tonight, not so much. Yeah, bad day. Yeah, he was just, I don't know if he didn't have. He just didn't like a lot of them. He tried to steal what's her name's pants. Yeah, <laughs> he, he wanted to, his pants with the glittery pants. Jessica, uh, Jessica, yeah, Sanchez. Jessica Sanchez, yeah. yeah. So. Maybe he slipped in another shower. I don't know. It happens, and he's having a bad day. But yeah, yeah. well, good. He's always saying beautiful, yeah, exactly. oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. But it, he would. He said, "Well, I didn't feel it tonight, but you're still beautiful." So he still finished yeah, exactly. it with the beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's likable still. But. We're going to get to Jermaine later, but okay, we've had so, 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 not so much. Let's get to Joshua Ledet. The star. Star of the night. Uh, uh, best yeah, thing maybe. ever in American Idol, according <laughs> to uh, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Best thing she's ever seen. Is that, do you, do you agree with that? No. I mean, I've seen most of American Idol. You've seen everything. I pretty have no much. life. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think so either. And and so why would why would she say that? I mean, is that and maybe she hasn't been watching it for a while? No, it's because of last week. Last week we all raved about Joshua, and I don't know if it was you or I that oh, said yeah. that he's so good. The guy, so, he's got some in his little bag of tricks. He can do runs. He can go high. He can go low. He can go big. He can take sing, him to church. And that and I thought that was his deterrent last week. Remember, I said he might be a little too churchy, and it might mm -hmm. turn some voters off. Yeah. 
and he ended up being in the bottom three last week. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah, sorry. And <laughs> no, that's what he, that's what he said. <laughs> and what, him and Will I am were bonding over some uh, some talk. He's that's like, right. You sound like you're a pastor's son. Yeah. Wait, when your mama calls you, what'd you say? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so what I thought this week was that I think the judges and the producers were overselling him. They were giving him what I call the winner's edit. Yeah. They're you know. Yeah. They showed um, Randy and J Lo and Steven, they were getting up and they were focusing yeah. on the judges and the, the crowd was standing up for them, giving them all this fanfare, just so that in America's mind, oh, he must be really yeah. good, so we should vote for him. Stop, yeah. stop voting him off. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Survivor, because but you have the hook. He didn't he didn't deserve to be in the bottom three. Absolutely not. You know, and he was great tonight, but like you said, I don't think he was the best ever. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. There's no way. Okay, whose performance did you like better? Jessica Sanchez last week, her I Will Always Love You, which I, I'm sure it went viral. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, there's been Whitney Houston knock, yeah. you know, you know, re renditions of her song, but the way Jessica, she destroyed it. Yeah. Literally, in, we, we agreed it was one of the best. We actually had a battle royale who sang the best version outside of Whitney Houston of I Will Love You Forever. Mm -hmm. And I Will Always Love You, I mean. And her, she won hands down. Jessica Sanchez, I mm -hmm. can see it. But, yeah. But what I was saying is, um, Who's, you're putting that performance up to this one, yeah, definitely Jessica Sanchez. I mean, exactly. obviously, this is a singing competition, and obviously, Joshua can sing. I hate to quote Randy, but the phone book. But here's the <laughs> thing that was definitely not the best performance ever. We got to see a lot of the stuff that he's done before, you know, done before. And what was the big voice of the dude um, that, that took us to church? What was it last year? Adam Brock? Uh, no, no, I think it was, was it last year or the year before? Um, I forget his name, but um, this still didn't match up to, to some of the performance I've seen before. Jessica Sanchez is, is, is young and is just ahead of her time, and I think I still go with her performance. What do you think? I agree. It was, it was, it was timeless. It was, it was up there with like Fantasia's winning song when she sang in season three mm -hmm. and some of the stuff that we've seen, like let's say even Adam Lambert that would blow out and destroy. Right, yeah. That was up there, but um, I think they just they're just they're um, how would you say they're just um, they're just pumping him up, yeah, they're hyping him yeah. up for America to follow. But I think I think for him like um, he's his performance is getting better because obviously you know he he goes strong every week, and I think he, he, two weeks ago he went a little bit you know to an up tempo song, mm -hmm. but you know this time he's taking off his jacket, throws his jacket off, yeah. so it's, it's like it's a smart a smart thing mm -hmm. to show that he's a big more more of a performer which American Idol is, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's smart on his part to do, to do that kind of stuff. But the, what gets me is that after he's done and, he, and they tell him how great he is, you see he's like kind of calm and it's like a weird kind of calm that, that he goes to okay. when they're like, oh, you're doing, you know, you're great. He's just like, mm. <laughs> well, he's been there. Maybe yeah. he's, he's, he's calm, calm, collected. Yeah, maybe, which is, that's good in the long run. I mean, yeah, so know, he's not going to be, you know, he won't take the highs too high and the lows too right, low. Yeah. You know, I just think um, the best part about him this week, he pulled a little Marcus Canty. I don't know if you ever watched X Factor. Right, he was yeah, taking yeah. off the jacket. And Marcus would always mm -hmm. do that. He was kind of like the... the Bobby the, like, Brown. Yeah, a little Bobby <laughs> Brown. He put a little, a little Bobby Brown in there. But it's the notes in between the big notes. He has the detail. Like I, For sure. on that first verse, before he was getting to the, to the big run, in between, he was just his inflection. And he was just, it was like almost like a flutter. And I was like, ooh, I loved <laughs> yeah. it. So yeah. he's just so technical. He's got so much stuff going. So America need, I, they, I'm, they need him on I'm the not show. I'm so, wow. Uh, I, I turned yes, into J-Lo and Randy. I mean, I'm campaigning for Joshua. Like, let's politics. keep him around. But <laughs> so overall, the guys, not as strong as last week, I thought. Last week, remember, we thought that the guys pretty much killed it. Yeah, compared to the to the girls because they had to do Whitney Houston. But um, I, I'm still going with I'm still going. Uh, I don't know. They they did they did awesome this week. Marcus I think I like them. I like the, I like them this week a lot better. Did you? Okay. All right. All right. So, so that means they're getting better in my head. So that's that's good. That's good for me. All right. So now let's get to the real deal. The girls. The girls. Yes. Let's get to the girls. Please. And of, and of course, see, oh well, we're gonna start with someone. Oh, you know, she's some, all right. She's all right. She's, yeah. You know, Jessica Sanchez. Oh, all right. We, <laughs> yeah. Hit them. Hit them hard off the top. Yeah. It, Gloria Stefan. What'd you think? I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. It was nice. a little. It was different for her, uh, and uh, they were talking about her rhythm, mm -hmm. and, and, and like the little fast stuff that she had to do. But I thought she pulled it off. Like the stuff that they were talking about. I guess probably if I watched it back, but I was so into her performance, and the the part where and Jimmy Iovine even helped her out with this was to do like the little stop. They did the modulation change where she went higher, and she kind of looked back and and mm -hmm. gave you know the audience a little bit, and then went for it again and. 
I, I felt like this song was fun for her and she still could show off her vocals. So I, I loved it. I thought it was really good. Nice. Nice, nice. Did you? I mean, no, I, t I totally, I totally disagree. Really? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? I, I completely agree with that. I don't know. I want to hear. No, no, no. Okay, I judged the song in two halves. I really did. Um, the the first, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it the first half, mm -hmm. and maybe it's because I was judging last week's performance. I know the great, you know, how great this little girl yeah. is. Yeah. The first half, I didn't feel it. And then when she hit the chorus halfway through, bam! Yeah, there she was. <laughs> she exploded, and that's what I loved. And, and, she, she and, they, and they're talking range. about like, yeah, she needs to do more ballads or whatever, but she can't do it every week. Yeah. So she's gonna have to do, take this stuff on. And I still, I thought it was, I thought it was really good. Well, obviously, the ballads are her thing, and she does it great at it. Like doing something like this and still doing as good of a job that I, me and Mark think, and you half of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it shows her talent. She's got, she's got what it takes. You know what I mean? Two Absolutely. and a half men in the studio, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, and Jimmy Iovine said it last week that if, she, do not rest on your laurels so much, do not stick to the ballads, do not, you know, because she's so good at it, but a whole season of her slaying, like Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, power ballads, America would lose sight of how good she is, and it could hurt her, so right. it's good that, I don't think she was as great as she was last week, but she's gonna be fine, and like you said, nice change of pace, I didn't understand the whole, I didn't feel the rhythm. Yeah. You know, like Jayla was saying, you weren't rhythm. They, they lost it a little bit. But I don't know. I was so into it. I didn't even notice that. I think the judges were trying to stir up the pot. Yeah. Kind of like what I'm doing tonight. Yeah. Which is basically, <laughs> she's fine. Haters. <laughs> <I'm>, Haters. <no. laughs> stirring up the pot. Just so America, you know, just, hey, she's not as, you know, it's to make the show. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like what we're doing here. But um, now, second girl, 1983. Bringing her back. Elise Testone. To life. I wrote, I was just like, I'm glad they kept her because I knew she was going to bring something this week. She's got such a cool tone, such a cool, and she, we got to hear a lot of her full voice this time, and she was belting out um, notes too. After last week, anything was going to be better? Mm-hmm. I, I loved it tonight, though. I thought yeah. it was really good. Yes. I'm on your side. Because <laughs> I, 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 I thought she was gone last week. I voted her off, mm -hmm. and I wrote her off. I mean, I know she's very talented, but... She's so unique, man. That voice is just crazy. Yeah, it's just that rasp that Will I Am fell mm -hmm. in love with. Yeah. And I'm, you know, like I said, glad they kept her. And of course, I'm not lying. I wrote it when it happened. Goose bumps. Bumps. If you guys aren't watching us right now, I have a paper holding up where I wrote, I <laughs> had goose pimples all over my body when she sang. She just took me there. I, yeah. I was like, yeah. She had to, man. It was. I wanted to make some babies after that song. Sorry, I just and he out. did, and he did. Um, <laughs> like, where's where's JC? So. <laughs> Standards and practices. Sorry if I'm getting out of line. Uh, <laughs> no, girl's got some soul, dude. She does. Oh my god, she just she was in control of that whole the, the whole performance, vocally and uh, as far as a performance standpoint too. So she was she's she's back on track and she's gonna be around for a while so she's not gonna be in your bottom two this week man. hey man i i i, I say it how i see it so last week it was terrible this week awesome <laughs> flip flop she's, that's what she I averages out to okay <laughs> yeah yeah but she's it's okay it's hard for her to get a, a, i don't remember what did she sing last week i'm trying to remember um whitney houston she's oh I, was it like i have nothing or something and just was well, she didn't have anything last week so oh, probably. i walked into that one damn bam 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 damn. i'll be here all night all right okay so we moved on to the adulation of elise so let's move on to shannon someone who i've been hating on for most of the season uh and then we started falling in love and then now yeah and you've been a champion you've been on her side you you, you, you yeah because she she continues to get better tonight she took on a huge song Okay. I felt like it was a little bit too big for her. A little bit too big. Oh, what, Mariah Carey and Boys the Men? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> seven octave range, Mariah. Yeah, go ahead, Shannon. I don't even know what a seven octave uh, is, but um, One Sweet Day, awesome song. I thought it was very pretty as it started, but once it started getting to the more technical big stuff at the end, I think she just missed it a little bit here and there, and then she tried to make up for it. Um, so why did the judges love her? Um, she worked it out. <laughs> like no, you know, because it's such a big song. Do you feel like sometimes we're watching a different show? Sometimes, like what you're thinking and what yeah. they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I again, this goes back to like the what we were talking about earlier with Joshua and stuff. You taking on that big project. They both said, like all the judges said it, like that coming out of the gates, like oh boy, she didn't pick this song. And then like you know, she took it and like didn't hit everything, but got pretty damn close. Yeah. You know I mean, like she did the best she could do and. I don't think she even knew how big of a song she was taking on. <laughs> she you know did I mean? not. Like, she, until she's on stage, she's like, whoa, I do this. <laughs> she did an all right job, so I mean, you yeah. can't, can't I, I actually that. did like the beginning. I, I loved, I, I was surprised. And when, the easy stuff. 
She's great at the easy stuff. No. <laughs> well, anything after last getting, week, like, calculus Whitney, and yeah. messes it all up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just, you know, I guarantee, to, I think tomorrow Jimmy's going to say, I'm not feeling it. I, I, yeah. I didn't feel it, and I, I don't know if America will too, but she has a following. She has, like, the Twitter generation. She has a big fan base. Mm -hmm. So... That and, can, and she does have potential. I mean, even Randy said she's got mad potential. Oh, dog. absolutely. So, I mean, it just wasn't all there for me today, but she definitely she showed some some strong points in it. And she does, like you said, have that following. So that's half the battle. You know, she, she's a fighter. Yeah, and you she's know. young too, only 16 also, right? Yeah, and see... Come on, she looks, she looks older, a little more mature. She looks older than Jessica Sanchez, mm -hmm. but... Well, she's six foot tall. I mean, that's she's... why... <laughs> Like, Thank you. She's like six foot thirteen or five foot thirteen. She's she's big. Uh, she's tall. Okay. So do you think they made a mistake in bringing her on to the top twelve or top twenty four? Because once you 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 make it to the live stage, you can't do. Let's say if you get booted off, you can't come back next season. But if you make it, let's say if you're in the top twenty five, if you don't make it to the yeah. top twenty four, you can still come. You back. can still come back the yeah. following year. She's only sixteen. And a lot of people they've said no to, like Holly Cavanaugh, they said no to her last year, and she came back. Colton and, also. Yeah, and they come back, and they come back better. True. Do you think maybe they brought her on maybe a year too soon? Because uh, I, I can see that's definitely um, a good point because she at the beginning she was not she was not gonna not gonna do well, but since she kept on getting better, I think they just thought, hey, look at this girl grow, and I don't know. I think I think she definitely I think America did it right. You had it spot on I, when we were talking about it a few episodes ago. I wanted to kind of I wanted to write her off, unfortunately, and, and Mark kept saying she gets better every week. She's the one that shows the most improvement from week to week, and mm -hmm. and she did. It's just these last two weeks, maybe she's just hit a rough spot. Yeah, well, so. even I mean, after you did, she took on Whitney last week, okay, and and she did if, right yeah, <laughs> but and then take and then I guess anything doesn't seem as big as Whitney, so let's just take on Mariah because it's kind it's not as high, but I mean I think. I think she's gonna find her zone. She's not, she's gonna make it through this week. But if she finds her zone and finds what she's good at and great at and sticks down in that lane and not and doesn't try to go too big. I mean, my hat's off her if you're trying to mm -hmm. take on these big projects at 16. Yeah. But I don't know. I think I, I think once she gets in her lane and starts doing everything her way and and what's what she's good at, she's gonna be solid again. All right, so this she continues. She stays, she's like the ever ready battery. She keeps uh, fighting. She she's tough and she always lasts. So, but moving on to EVP. EVP. Um, and she was the wedding. What, was she a wedding singer? The mobile DJ. Mobile Which, DJ. Yeah. She's a mobile DJ. She's got that raspy kind of like deep voice as well. And but she's been rough. She's, yeah. Didn't she's know a, she was a mobile DJ. Didn't know that. I wasn't mm. uh, privy to that information. <laughs> yeah, I'm so finding new things out about her right now. Do you need a DJ? <laughs> a mobile DJ like, for apparently. something? Yeah. <laughs> hey, after this performance this week, I don't know. She may be. She may be open for some some gigs pretty soon. Yeah. Is she booted. No, I don't. I wouldn't say that. She's got so much natural talent. For I think. Sure, but yeah. These last few weeks in. Uh, Brian Adams heaven. Yeah. Too too big of a song. She did too I much just, with it. What happened? I think she tried to do too much with it, and again, like I'm, I'm sticking to my my thing with Shannon. Like get in your lane and stay in it because it's just it just was not good for me tonight. I think they just haven't found a song for her yet. Yeah, Every, these first two weeks, the songs are not right for. Her. She can she can sing. Obviously, they, I mean they, they she's got a great voice. Yeah, she's one of the ones that they, they they kept out of the top. You know, the last three that they could pick and bring back. She's one of them. So, yeah, I I don't got much to say about her. I mean, I think it's I think for her, I think the last few weeks, the styling. I hate to say this because it's a singing show, but unfortunately, yeah. like after shows like X Factor and things of that nature, the whole package kind of does count. And, and sometimes they put her in these outfits that are just not, I think they're playing around with her looks a lot. Like yeah. this week, I think she had a stronger look than the week before. And I think deep down inside, that even counts. I think a lot of people said that. That's like uh, the consensus. Everyone's like, oh, she looks great tonight. Yeah. See? <laughs> okay, there we go. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's yeah. like the kiss of death. Yeah. Like, oh, no, you was, yeah. There was, I think it was like two or three judges. Like, I think almost all of them said that. They're like, mm -hmm. you look great tonight. Like, but you do look, but you're right. They they were right. Well, you really you look beautiful. Like, Mm -hmm. Like clean up well. No, they're, they're not pulling a Bailey Brown uh, on her. Uh, why you gotta bring up Bailey Brown, man? Sorry, that's any that's, other Brown, but not Bailey Brown. Let's see, for Bailey uh, Brown, there we go. One for my homies. Um, one for her, his homie. He, she was awesome, but and then she it, fell the off. moment the moment caught, got to her, so maybe, but she can't come back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but well, she's uh, uh, this. 
this is not for her. I think she can still be a, a good country artist. Okay. Because she can sing. We've heard her sing great, but then she fell off at the wrong point. So maybe a little before before we get to Skylar, she's a little bit of Nashville star, perhaps. Yeah. You yeah, know, maybe, it's that country yeah, show on CMT. Sure, yeah. So speaking of country, yeah, let's move to our little Spitfire. Skylar. Skylar. Yeah. Okay, so she's like, somebody that comes every week. She brings it every week. Every week. I always look forward to what she's gonna do. And okay, so we were talking before about if Jimmy Iovine and Will I Am tell you not to do the song that you're gonna do, and then do this one. She said no. <laughs> She's like, I'm, she, she tried yeah. it, you know, and... But you know what? I Okay. I, I kind of, you know, I watched that, and after kind of picking up on the judges saying that, like, you know, that, why are you making these weird decisions? And then trying to listen to their, like, their feedback. I'm like, that song is kind of a bad choice. It's like a jukebox song. It's yeah. a song you hear in a bar. You saying the one that she sang? Yeah, the one Tonight? she sang. Great. Yeah. So I think their, like, actual, like, you know, pointers would have probably led her in a better direction. I thought she oversang it. And I love That's what I'm Scott. saying. It's like it's like yeah. not that great of a song to sing as powerfully as she did. She's right. got a good voice. The song choice. Hmm. And she's one that doesn't have to display because she brings fireworks every week. I mean the, the first her first week at the end, she like jumped at the end of the performance and everyone stood up and is she's really? just got this energy that's off off the charts. But Yeah, she's a good performer. She didn't have to it's, it, yeah, the Bonnie Raitt song, it was she was too big. Actually, she was too big for the song. Yeah. I thought. I think she's great. She's she brings it every week, and she is country, and she is the only country. So, that automatically means top four, top three. Why are you using your brains and the <laughs> smarts again? Why are you proving again that you're smarter than both of Listen, us? And country is a combined. big following on here. They brought Scotty all the way to the top last last year, and this year she's she she brings something new every time. She has so much energy. She's fun to watch, and I think I think because. Of all those different things, she's gonna make it far. She's adorable. She yeah. is. I, I love Put her. Put in my Con pocket. Con yeah, <laughs> country's not. It's not my favorite genre, but it. it, it but I do, I do love country. But I love it more because of her. Honestly, Aww. I do. All right, all right. I oh, blush, but I'm yeah. Latin. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> sweetheart. No, but let's finish off with someone who surprised me, who what? I I kind of railed on her last week. You defended her, mm -hmm. and she That's proved right. me wrong. You proved me wrong. Y'all proved me wrong. Even Tony wasn't here and he proved me wrong. I tweeted. I actually, yeah, like, you did you? I'm proving you wrong next week. See, I'm, I'm still stuck on MySpace, so that's You're not going to get it for another couple hours on your phone. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for making, put, punking out my phone. But <laughs> Holly, you know, Holly, Power of Love, Celine Dion. Yes. I was scared to get announced because I know she's she's got a big voice and that little body. Mm -hmm. I was a little scared for her, but I thought she pulled it off. I, I thought she had the... I thought she was the most improved from last week to this week. And last week, you loved her. Yeah, she wasn't. She was not bad. You can definitely tell that she's a great singer. She just, there's like, all right, she's just missing something. Something. Because yes. she is a great voice. Her, performer was, her performance wasn't bad this week, um, obviously, because it was it, she killed the song. But there's just something that she's missing. If yeah. she finds that. She's gonna be incredible. It's just something. I don't know what it is though. What could it? I mean, we're on the same page. I wrote, she's almost got it. Page four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> page four in the script. Yeah. No. What do you think? Got, this is your first it. time seeing her. What do you think? I think she's great. Nice. I, I, I was confused though because I was hearing some accent with her parents. Yeah. You know, talking about like uh, the guy earlier, his accent coming through in his song. Did not hear anything. And I don't know if she just lost it or what the deal is, but. Great performance in the last. There's different, yeah. There's things like that. It's like Adele, like when she sings and then she and she talks. Like what? I, I didn't pick yeah. up where her parents were from. Were they from yeah. like the UK? I, I believe. A magical place. Uh, I don't know. Flo uh, Florida. <laughs> in Florida, let's see. No, it's, it's <laughs> from uh, New York. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's actually <laughs> from Mid Atlantia. Uh, Mid Atlantia is this, and this is a true story. It's a mythical place in between New York and London. And it, old actors actually used to use this accent in old school movies. You remember, hello, Dolly, you do look smashing. And uh -huh. it, it wasn't necessarily English or American, but it was from a uh, place called Mid Atlantia. Yeah, it's for the actors that can't do an actual English accent. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Like, I can't even do that crap in an accent. <laughs> so, that's why you stand your So that's practices. where she's from. Anybody that we don't know where they're from, we'll just put them in Atlantis. Mid Atlantia. Mid Atlantia. Oh, Mid Atlantia. No, no, speak Atlantis. But, you know, but for the first time, when she was talking in her bio, you picked up a little bit of an accent on her. Mm -hmm. I didn't pick up the other, the other weeks. I didn't pick it up, yeah. but um, she's I, you know she'll be there. Thank she's you, thank you for for doing awesome tonight. I know we needed that, especially because we they usually do save the best for last. Because if we have a bad performance at the end, it's like you just built me up for nothing. 
So you don't know? Do you know what that one thing is? I don't know. Just, do you maybe, think maybe it was that she followed Joshua. She probably should. You know what? Joshua took his jacket off. I don't know. Yeah. She should wear a jacket. I'm not saying again, <laughs> yeah. I'm revealing, but I'm just saying she should throw an article of clothing, maybe a scarf on the ground. Yeah, yep. she had that shiny but little thing. See, she this is why theatrics, we. You know what I mean? This is why we need a woman on on the show that like tell us what they <clears> liked, what little outfits, what yeah. she needed, what she can add. But I think she's gonna find it though. Whatever it is. Yeah. I, maybe. See, what about singing a smaller song? Like, like maybe like Jewel, maybe maybe not Bonnie Raitt, but you know what but I'm saying. Like, that huge, I mean, yeah, maybe doing something bigger with a small song, a, a tad bit smaller. Because that, yeah, well, Celine Dion is like, let's just go to Vegas and watch it right now. But right. she, that that last note that she did was just crazy. Right, she's opened up and just let him have it, and I was waiting for that. And because the judges did say she missed a note or two, but it was okay yeah. because the performance was it was um, she was taking on a beast of a song, and I mean, yeah. she, she I love that she I slayed she was the dragon. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. So definitely, well, you know what? We'll, we'll get back into who we thought was good, who was bad, and of course, our Jermaine segment right yeah. after this break. After Buzz TV. Hi, I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag coworkers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzzTV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after-shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz yeah, TV. Well, I mean, maybe next After one Buzz days. TV. What do you want to buzz about? Josh and Colton. All right. All right, we're back, guys. All right, so let's talk about we, we're missing someone tonight. Yes. Jermaine. The Jermaine. big voice. We are missing Jermaine. The, the hmm. boy. The one that they brought back. Yes. Without uh. doing a background check. Mm-hmm. They don't do a background check? He, he could have made it all the way. Uh, the way they love yeah, him. Yeah, can you? I know. Can, okay, how long does a background check cha- take? I don't guess look at me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, usually they take me about 30 days. See, that's exactly Well, exactly you're standards right. and practices, yeah, so yeah. yeah. That's true if it's... Uh, Okay. All right. So you know, I, I did like how they brought them out, like brought them up yeah. to, like, to have the conversation. I thought it was uh, it was going to be kind of shady. Something. Yeah. We want to do it on camera. Yeah. Just so everyone knows. It's a very it was like an inter- it was that like an intervention <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> to draw the story. We know you have a lot of aliases. <laughs> yeah. They all are. The gen- well, plus remember he is like six. He literally, he, I think he's six eight. Mm-hmm. So like you know, yeah. you guys hit me. It's on camera. Yeah. They should have yeah. put like the one light bulb in the room <laughs> and just like just swinging <laughs> on the night of February fourteenth, two thousand eleven. Where were you, Joel? I didn't actually fight him. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's unfortunate. Um, I, w- I can't believe they they didn't bring this out sooner. So um, he's got four warrants out for his arrest right now. Well, this is the fourth time it's happened on Idol before. Right? Yeah, there's been times before. Frenchie when... and whatnot, and Frenchie ended up doing Frenchie, the voice. Yeah. That's, a, that's, mm-hmm. a, that's a throwback right there. Yeah, that. yeah see, yeah. she lives in North Hollywood. Does she really? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, now everyone knows where Frenchie lives. Sorry, Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> One, four, three. No, I'm uh, kidding. No, so. You know why does Idol? I mean, I maybe do you think do you think they knew before this, and mm. they just saved it? It was their their last card they're about to throw. No, because it, why would it? Why would have they have gone to the lengths of bringing him back just to kick him off again? Were they that scared of the voice? Because you know how now the voice and Idol are kind of trading off, mm-hmm. which is the top dog singing right, yeah. show. Idol so. is still slightly beating it out. I know. They just throw some tricks. They have to do tricks up their sleeve. Like, you, you never know. They did it on X Factor. I still say for this day in X Factor, there was this girl that they eliminated early on in the auditions, and literally everyone was like, "No way! This girl was the best." And they brought her back, and she ended up winning the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did they do it to yeah. drum up the ratings? And did they do this, you know, with Jermaine to just drum up the ratings? But mm-hmm. I've heard on set actually, they're saying <coughs> sources on set he was a bully on set. Really? Yeah. He, if he didn't. Gentle li- giant. Yeah. Remember with when he and Richie Law when they walked out and they had a they had a duet together oh, yeah, and yeah. Richie kind of like grabbed. Richie was this like kind of controversial guy who just would talk a lot of smack and he was a country boy. He was really, really the alpha male of 
of all idol guys. But um, he got Jermaine and rang his neck. And Jermaine, you could just say, hey, man, that ain't cool, yeah, man. Really? And you could see that he just wanted to <laughs> annihilate him. Now, yeah, looking back, it's like, oh. So now those little pieces kind of come, come back together because they're saying on set, he was kind of a bully. Yeah. I, I I read it. I read it on some tabloid today that um, he would he would just he would scream at the staffers because really? of the he didn't like his wardrobe. Well, and he's did you see his wardrobe into that room? Like he he was well put together. I think he had some fashion going on. Did he today? He had like, he he had like, the plaid? He had like three yeah, scarves uh, on. Polo and a scarf. You know? Yeah. Typical <laughs> <laughs> way to dress yourself. I was gonna wear. I actually was wearing that before, and then I took it off because I didn't want to clash with him. Cool. So, so now with the unfortunate el elimination of of Jermaine. Should they bring someone back, or do you think? They're... I don't think they're going to bring anyone back. Like Johnny Kaiser. I, I wish they would have. Like, is this is Johnny Kaiser coming back? Is we're, it Mr. Stelia girl? Where is he at? Yeah, we're still campaigning for some of our favorites who we thought should have come back. You know, not thought. They should have. There we go. See that? <laughs> but I agree. I think I think they're going to pull out the save again, because now they have this open thing. Like they might vote somebody off this week. Because I don't I don't think they're going to say, oh, he was gone, so everybody's safe. I don't think they're going to do that this time. I think they're going to do what they did. I think it was last year, maybe the year before, where they had a save. Mm -hmm. So if somebody got voted off, um, then they, they were able to bring them back. Like, okay, you know what? America got it wrong this week, and they only got one save. Mm -hmm. I think they're bringing it back. Yeah, no, I agree 100% because they need to stretch out the show till uh, in late May because <laughs> yeah. it sweeps. So, of course, I, they, they, gotta do something. they need that. So if, if, if they cut out a week of the show, no, they're going to lose. they're going to lose that right there, and yeah. that's... With voice clipping at their heels and now dancing with the stars coming up and all these other shows. And make sure, guys, our own very own Maria Menunos is going to be on this season's Dancing with the Stars. And we're going to have a great after show. Right after the show, you can click on over to After Buzz TV. Check out Robert Anton and some of the Pussycat Dolls are going to come in, give their opinion. Remember to call us. Check us out. It's going to be on fire. But... Back to Idol. Yeah, that's right. I just, <laughs> I just had to put in that plug in for Maria because yeah, that's going to be insane. Vote, vote. Vote for Maria. Team what, Meno, Mino, they, they come, Muff, Menuff. Menuff? Yes, they're combining uh, Maria and Derek Huff's name. It's, oh, so it's smart. Team Menuff. So on like Twitter, just get on, you know, Team Menuff. So. <laughs> nice. But so. I, 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 you know, they're not going to bring Kai, Johnny back, but... Um, I'm gonna miss the big guy. You know, he did bring something different, but yeah, it was definitely different. He was the only low voice we got. But more important, I, I'm kind of scared for um, Jessica Sanchez now. Why? I read in some tabloids that she cheated on her a test, and I think they might bring that <laughs> back in high school. I think they might they might bring that back and kick her off. So what are we gonna do after that? You gonna have two saves? You, you had me <laughs> hook, line, and sinker, Thank man. Thanks. That was awesome. Yeah. He's not only he's not only a host; he's a great actor, folks. Mr. Mark <laughs> Allen. That's right. Oh, all right. So now we know what's happened with Jermaine. He's gone. End end of that. But who's going home tomorrow? Then let's get into predictions. Predictions. And now you're after Buzz See? TV. Prediction. Every time that prediction thing comes up, someone's eyebrow comes up, and I looked at Tony. <laughs> first time he's here, the eyebrow went up. People's eyebrow. It's just, got an eyebrow. I got it. It's it's got the eeriness. I love it. Got two of them. All right. So, Mark, you want you had a different take. What, so, how are we doing predictions this week? Yeah, let's do. Let's do. I mean, obviously, who we think is gonna go home. But who are you voting for? Who am I voting? Who for? are you voting for? Out of who's everybody, got my vote tonight? Not, not a guy and a girl. Just one person. Who has got your vote tonight? Okay. And why? Oh. And I want you to write an essay and turn it into me, and I'll grade it. Who am I voting uh, for? <laughs> yes. Because I only in my list, I only wrote one person being great, and I hate because it's it's. I want to vote for Elise. That's she's that's my girl. I I, me personally, I love Elise. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a weird weird kind of way. I like her. I just love her music. I love her in a weird way. So. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> I I the only person I wrote down great tonight was Joshua. You're going with Joshua. Yeah, that's a given. J Lo's feeding in your head. I, yep. I got to. Yeah, you see what she was wearing. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. So, I, I'm, it's so for for me. I'm I'm sorry. I'm cheating on your on, on your predictions. <laughs> I'm gonna Joshua and Elise as as my great. My I, who, that's who I'm voting for. They're each getting five votes. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm spreading the wealth. You can't and, vote from your phone though. I can't. I oh, because I have a slow week. phone. That's right. <laughs> All right. But I'll be here next week. <laughs> okay, who's your great? I I think Joshua was was good too, um, but I'm not voting for him. Who are you voting for then? I'm voting for Holly Kavanaugh. Oh. I, I liked her, I liked her a lot. I thought I mean even after she followed a great performance, I felt like she surprised me even more. Like I knew she had a great voice last week, and coming out, 
hands down, I liked her performance the best. Even though, even though um, Joshua was strong, yeah, I still liked. Uh, she she brought me in more, and I was convinced with her, with her whole performance. So I'm Holly Kavanaugh. Holly, Holly Kavanaugh. Tony, what about you? Who'd you, who'd you I'm like? hoping for Jermaine. Hopefully they'll bring him back. <laughs> yeah, save. It could be like, like, who is this idiot that keeps sending us these boats? Wow, you, so you're starting like a whole campaign. Kind yeah, of, I'm going to get the word out. Grassroots campaign tomorrow. Very Jermaine 2012. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice, nice. He's back. You know, you're right. You know, okay, I'm sorry. If I can only vote for one, I'm sorry. Okay. I would, it's Elise. I, I, oh, I, yeah? I'm changing. What? It has stick, stick with your girl. Don't. Yeah. You know why? Because Don't. that's who I download. That's who I'd buy the music. You know, mm -hmm. of the songs I heard tonight, who would, who would I add, add to my iPod? It, it, that song. And you can. Let's stay together. You know what you can also add to your iPod? What's that? This iPod, uh, this, this podcast we're doing right now we on go. iTunes for free. So do that. Oh. Fantastic segment. Do that. There we go. Nice <laughs> plug. Better. All right. Let's, let's also, okay, that's who we're, we're, we're voting for. Okay. Who's going home next week or tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> I'm always torn. See, I can never give you one. In the end, I'll give you one because I'm flippity flop, flippity flop. <sighs> hey June, and DeAndre. They're gonna be the bottom two. Those are the, uh, for me. They were the only uh, that I I saw being. So who's who's the ones going home? Who's you locked it in? You locked it in last week, and you broke my heart, and and I was mad all week because of it. Okay, I'm gonna right. lock it in. Even <laughs> though I thought I think he's a stronger singer. I think DeAndre's going home. Ooh, a little okay. bit of an upset. Yeah, because okay. I think I think he, I think he June should go home, mm -hmm. but I think America's going to vote Deon, DeAndre. Okay, it's the Jeremy Lin effect for uh, he, he June. <laughs> you know what I um, think and know is nope. that uh, we're going to have to say goodbye to uh, EVP. Erica Van Pelt's going home. Oh, I forgot. Never been more certain about anything in my life. Really? Yep. Never. Wow. Ever. <laughs> what are, who, who, I was just saying. Uh, you, Hey, June, too. That's the same thing. I thought you were going to go with Jermaine again. <laughs> no. I'm like, he's out of here. I'm going to vote him back. It's the whole plan. It's so, both angles here. It's the whole thing. So you think, hey, June's done? So, yeah. It's, you know, I think, uh, well, now, I'm just, now I'm second guessing myself. It happens on the show, because buddy. Yeah, you know, because of the, the William Hung thing. I mean, he's got that whole thing going for him. He's like, mm -hmm. he's like that's, this season's that guy. Yeah. He's got it. Might be saved. Yeah. So, he, I mean, because there, there were other weeks. Like two weeks ago, was it two, when he sang Angels by Robbie Williams? I think it was two weeks because last week. Was... And I, and it was, it wasn't, the, it was unfortunately, I thought the worst performance, and he yeah. flew by flying colors. Yeah. yeah. So I, it, that told me that he has a huge base. So yeah. that's why I'm, I'm just thinking DeAndre. Yeah, I think because, yeah. I mean, for me, De hey, June's and, playing the game. Great call on EVP. I love her to death, but um, yeah, I'm yeah. just, so we're split three different ways, and. All right, I think that's it for tonight. So, yeah, well, hey, Mark, well, where, where can they find you, buddy? Oh, you can find me on Twitter, Mark E. Allen. And make sure to pick up your single. That's right, The Streets on iTunes also we got. And as always, I'm the Everyday Man on Twitter. But let's not forget, Tony. Hey, Tony, you're uh, not, not, you're also a comedian. I'm so. Uh, you can find me around town at the local stand-up places. That's at, right. Uh, ha Ha Cafe and Comedy Store. Excellent. Tony Klein. Tony Klein. And for Jerrica, Tony, Marky Allen, and myself, you can find us all on AfterBuzz TV. We'll see you next time. Good night. Good night. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz. See you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.